A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. Hey, I'm Pitmaster X. Welcome to another episode. And today I got something special because my butcher called me and he said he has a steak that you can cut with the fork. This is it. <laughs> my butcher, the online butcher, not the one that's close by. The online butcher, he called me and said, dude, I got this piece of meat, this steak, that is so tender you can cut it with a fork. Now, of course, if it's that tender, we gotta try it out, you and me. We wanna see that steak, the steak that you can cut with a fork, which means no chewing involved. You can suck it and then it just falls apart in your mouth. But the curious thing about this steak, it is not from a cow. It's actually a bison steak and bison meat is well known for how lean it is. Beautiful, dark red, lean. Yeah, you can smell the sweetness. That's how you separate beef from bison. Bison is a lot, lot sweeter. And they actually say it's very healthy. So you can eat as much of it as you like. Of course, I'm not a health guru, so don't take my advice. But hey, if they say it's healthy, you know, I'm not gonna argue with them. But what I really want to figure out is how tender actually is it? And is it as tender as beef or even more tender? And that's why I got this beef tenderloin. And we're gonna compare the two and see if the bison is more tender than my beef tenderloin. This beautiful beef tenderloin is gonna be the comparison meat because this is the most tender beef that I know of. First, I'm gonna cut it down to the same size, and then I'm going to remove the silver skin that sits on top. And it's very easy to do with a simple stroke of the knife. Now I'm gonna rub them both up with mustard, and then I'm going to make a barbecue rub. I'm gonna put in one part fleur de sel salt, one part paprika powder, half a part onion powder, a quarter part garlic powder, a quarter part ground white pepper, and a half a part of dried oregano. Now give that a good shake and put it onto your steaks. Now building up a crust on your steak like this is a magical thing. I wouldn't apply this to all steaks, but the bison steak has almost no fat and the beef, it totally hasn't got any fat at all. So it makes no sense to sear it off and then you might as well put on a crust. Now that they're all seasoned up, it's time to fire up our Bernard smoker. I set the burner to smoke at a temperature of 135 degrees Celsius and I'm going to put my bison in. It sounds kind of cool, having a bison steak. And of course I'm putting in my meter thermometer to make sure that I got the right temperature. I'm setting my beef tenderloin aside my bison. Of course it's getting its own probe just to make sure we get it right. Now I'm gonna close the lid and let these two smoke. And the good thing about this is we're smoking them and we're creating flavor and at the same time we're drying out that crust and it's gonna give us such a special mouthfeel. A little bit of crunch and on the inside, juiciness. Right, it's said that you can cut this steak with a fork. Now, of course, we got our reference steak, the beef tenderloin. I'm going to cut that first with my fork, just to check it out and see what happens. All right, now well, you can cut it. But I'm not sure, maybe it's more like murder than cutting. I don't know <laughs> about cutting this with my fork. It makes It makes it look all a little bit messy and not that good. I managed to cut it with my fork, but it was a bit of a mess. Let's give it a try. Oh my God. Mm. The flavor that we got on this beef tenderloin is insane. We got that mustard and then the barbecue rub sitting on the outside and then the juicy tender beef, really, really good. Now let's try and cut our bison with the fork. It's definitely easier. Oh, it's definitely easier. So it's like two strokes with a little bit of sawing. Whoa. <laughs> There's definitely a difference 
between cutting a beef tenderloin with a fork and this beautiful bison. This is super tender. Now, of course, we could eat it like it is right now, but I want to plate up first, make it look really nice. First, I'm going to put on some tomatoes. Now, plating up is all about color, so I got a great plate with some beautiful red tomatoes, and I got some shallot rings right here. Now, I'm going to take the beautiful piece of bison and put it on the plate. There we go. If we turn this around, you can see the contrast between the tomatoes, the red onion, and the outside of the beef. I'm going to sprinkle on some feta cheese. And to blow it all up, I'm going to need some greens to finish it off. There we go. And now we can actually try this. And just look at how tender that is. That's just insane. This is like weird, cutting your beef with a fork. But hey, it works and it proves how tender this actually is. Mm. Bison is so sweet. I, I actually like bison a lot, as opposed to like kangaroo or something like that, because that's what I'm comparing it with. It's really good stuff. It's amazing, and especially with this crust on. Whoa. Mm. I'm gonna eat it with my hands. I know you can slice it with your fork, but oh, it's a shame to not eat it with your teeth, because it's so soft. Now, if I have compare that with the beef tenderloin, it's like a lot more difficult cutting it with my fork. And this is tender steak, don't get me wrong. That beef tenderloin, it's a proper tender steak. But cutting it with your fork, it's a different level. Now, I've had a tenderloin before. In my mind, this is way softer. I'm, I think I like the herb combination better on the bison. Normally, I prefer beef flavor over bison flavor. But now, especially with the herbs and the mustard on, I must say I like the bison better. And the bison is more tender now too. This is not a hard call. And when you plate it up like this, with the super simple plating, it looks insane, right? What I expected, like I had bison before and yep. it's super sweet. Yeah. But I never expected something like this to be as tender as it is. Like how can it be oh, that yeah. bison is so much more tender than beef? Yeah. It must be that this is a very special bison. It's beef tenderloin-ish, it, but, but better. But better. It's beef tenderloin, but better. So this must be a really rare cut, right? Yes, it must be. It must be. It must be a unicorn. The way I plated it up is super simple with fresh ingredients. We've been eating Michelin star dishes um, in the taste test lately. Mm. You guys like that? It doesn't hurt the comment. It doesn't hurt the comment section, no. And for all the Dutch people out there, it doesn't cost anything either. Just like subscribing, so hit that no, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell too. Otherwise, you're not gonna get any notification. So that it's kind of like why? Yeah. Why would you subscribe yeah. without hitting the bell? Yeah. Button? And and you can help us so much with it. It's really good for us. Okay, it's really good for us. So big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members because they are even better for us. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smartly and keep on grilling and eating bison. I think eating bison will make you strong. You're eating a lot right now. No. You're not sharing. No, the sharing is caring, eh? You know there that. is enough. I was I thought we were closing off the video, but you're just eating. No. Well, the video is already closed off. It's still running. <laughs>